Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And today, we're gonna put the new wood chipper through a little bit more thorough test than the first video I did on it. We just chipped a few limbs to make sure everything was set up. Today, we're gonna really dive into this pile, run some bigger stuff through, see how much chips you get and how much amount of work, and really put it to the test. But the first thing I did was the way they sent it out, the pins were facing out on the three-point hookup, which meant it was not quick hitch compatible. But I think by flipping those pins in, I can use it with a quick hitch. The inside dimension between that frame is 30 inches, and the width of the quick hitch is 29 and a half. So I flipped the pins around, I've got bushings on it, and we're gonna try picking it up. material that we have out here is well he's starting with this it's about three or four inches The majority of what we chipped today came from an evergreen that was over next to the pool. We've also got a lot of oak and other types of wood here, but that's just what was at the front, so it's what we started with. Everything started off pretty smooth, but about halfway through we run into some unexpected trouble and have to learn a little bit on the fly. I think it'll go in the other way, cut that off and feed through.
That's a little more than five inches. A four and a half by five and a half. Normally I wouldn't even put this through, but we're gonna try it today. All right, so this has a five inch limit on it. This is about four and a half inch one direction, five and a half the other. It grounded up real nice, but about halfway through, it killed the tractor. So this tractor is a 38 horsepower, 30 PTO horsepower. 30 is the bare minimum to drive this unit. So I would say this chipper can chip that. The tractor is a little bit undersized to run the max limit on the chipper. If you had, say, a 3046 or a 4052, probably would have finished that off real good. Let's take a look at the chips we're getting. We haven't been running it very long at all. Maybe five minutes of continuous operation. I got half a trailer load of this. The wood chips are perfect, exactly what I would want. I was a little bit surprised that this smaller stuff like this, the needles suck through and come out the discharge. So once again, for the max limit on this particular wood, I think the chipper's just fine. I think I need a little bit more tractor to run that max limit. But to me, that's firewood anyway. That's, that's a big chunk of wood. So I won't be running that through on a normal basis. The other thing that it had a problem with so far was this little bitty branch here. It's not too big. I mean, it'll handle that easily, but this sticks straight out. If it was more angled this way, it sucks it on through, but with it going straight out, this was more than the opening, and it got kind of caught in there. And that's the only other thing it didn't want to chew up so far. So right now is a really dangerous point with the PTO implement, because when that piece of wood jam the cutter there's a piece of wood stuck in there so that shaft is probably still under pressure that's where if you reached in there and we're trying to like clear that jam out when it popped loose that blade could spin because it's in a bind so it's just something to be careful about If you're watching right now, you might spot what seems like a really obvious problem that I did not notice at the time and ended up causing myself a lot of extra work because I didn't notice what was happening here. As far as this being clogged up, I'm guessing that when it jammed, there was one big chunk that got stuck in here sideways and then just kind of caused a pile up. So we'll pop it open and take a look. Okay, cut it down. So we're gonna have to manually unclog this, but I wanna let the chute all the way down when we do it. So we'll need to move the four-wheeler out of the way. All right, so what's the takeaway from jamming this up? Number one, if you glance at your outfeed chute every once in a while, you would notice that it had stopped feeding. The other thing is to check the anvil, see if it's close enough, because I'm getting a few more sticks through than I would expect. I watched a video with another brand of wood chipper where the instruction manual said check all bolts and 
The guy doing the review was talking about that how that's kind of ridiculous to send something fully assembled and then have the instructions say to check every bolt on it. You might as well not assemble it if that's the case. Mine said the same thing. I hadn't checked anything yet. I was going to run it for a while first and I have a loose bolt right here. Hey, we got a snack break. My little grandson here picked some tomatoes for us that were green. So we talked about the fact they're supposed to be red, but today we get fried green tomatoes. Are they good? Uh -huh. You like them better green or red? Green. Green, green tomatoes. <laughs> that is pretty good. I'm, I'm glad you picked them today. If you notice some gold tint or yellow colors in the chip pile, it's because we had a bunch of hedge over there. And I put some three and four inch diameter hedge in that chopped up just fine. And if you've been around hedge, you know that's a tough wood. All right, well, using the wood chipper, as I'd already found out from watching other people's videos, it's a lot of work to produce your chips, but we didn't put that much time in it today. I spent several hours cleaning up the yard and mowing first, and then we got enough to do this little bed. I learned a little bit from that jam up, that especially if the machine gets jammed up, Keep an eye on the outfeed to make sure it's still feeding so it doesn't get clogged like it did. But this looks a little bit off right now because it's got different colors of chips in it. But you know, all that color kind of fades out anyway, and I think it'll work just fine. So I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>